Big announcements have uh, come from ISRO, uh, the launch of Chandrayaan-3 on 14th at 2.30. I have with me Chairman of uh, ISRO, S. Somnath, sir. Uh, can you throw some details about the big launch that has been announced by ISRO today, sir? See, the launch is on 14th uh, in the afternoon. Uh, we had a window from 12th to 19th. So the current schedule of work is uh, leading to 14th. It was originally on 13th. Uh, then uh, we are hoping the lifting takes place, lift out takes place on the scheduled time. Then we have a possibility of landing on the first opportunity, that is uh, by the end of, by the beginning of uh, 23rd of August. Maybe that also has a window. So that's what we are expecting. Yes. Sir, um, there was a lot of expectations last time. We have seen uh, the mission failed to a large extent. But then this time around, what are the corrections? What are the lessons that have been learned? Sir? First thing I want to tell you: the last time the mission didn't fail to a large extent. It failed, succeeded to a large extent. Uh, the orbiter is still functioning and because orbiter is functioning we are better equipped this time to land perfectly because i'll tell you an example sure. the orbiter has a high resolution camera it is it has taken the entire moon pictures and high resolution like 28 centimeter resolution and this image is fully available here using that image we are now we are able to understand which is a better place to land and we have widened the landing area to from half a kilometer by half a kilometer to four kilometer by two point kilometer this is a big advantage of having chandrayaan 2 success there are there were so many instruments on board chandrayaan 2 orbiter all of them are working beautifully it has done remote sensing images of uh, moon and found out a lot of new scientific finding the only thing and we learned a lot of things during landing if the first landing did not fail second possibility of success is also <laughs> very less so we say we fa we learned from failure so significant part of the landing process was success successful or it, it, it happened, in, I would not use the word success, it happened as we expected. But some part of the landing process did not happen as we expected. So we found out what exactly went wrong and we did those corrections this time. And again hoping that this time it will function very well. See in space space work we, we know that we are not really controlling anything. We are planning and loading everything on board expecting certain nominal things to happen. But things can go wrong. Some instruments can fail, some unforeseen things can happen and it may go to a path which is never expected us in our calculation or simulation. But we ask this question many times here, what can go wrong? How it can be different? So, and we address all the thinking that we, our human mind in our, within our community can bring out and we tested them. And we found out that it will work. So last question before I let you go off, I know you have a busy schedule. Uh, what are the main experiments that we are looking at? What are the achievables in, in brief? See, we are looking at uh, studying the surface, the moon, Ragolith in greater detail. We are looking at the elemental composition, we are the, how, how it is constructed of. We are also uh, de putting a probe uh, 10 centimeter deep into it to understand the thermal conductivity, which is an important attribute we are uh, on the science part of it. We are looking at the close atmosphere very near to the surface, which we call there is a thin atmosphere, which is more of charged particle atmosphere. We are measuring it. Mm. Uh, so we are looking at, we are measuring the seismic activity of the moon. We are putting an instrument on the surface which has a very high sensitivity acceleration measurement. So it can see the internal processes happening in moon if at all is there anything there. So these are the essential measurements that we are doing. All right. All the best for the commission um, success. So that was uh, chairman of ISRO talking to NewsX. With camera person Venkesh Paramal Jayaprakash for NewsX from Bengaluru. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.